So my name is Linda Sarsour with the Arab American Association of New York, and we're here to stand in solidarity with communities of color across New York City who are being affected by the stop and frisk policies of the New York Police Department. And we're also here to say that we're here because we will not allow the New York Police Department to spy on our entire community just based on our ethnicity and religion. So today we are an array of beautiful colors from across New York City standing and marching for justice silently in hopes that our silence is a loud message to the administration. Hello, my name is Mohammed Ismail. I'm the Youth Program Manager at the Arab American Association of New York. We're based in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Uh, we've come out today to stand in solidarity, both as a concerned citizen and as a uh, member of the Arab American community. We stand here to express our concerns and symbolism against uh, the stop and frisk policy. A lot of youth have actually come out. A lot of youth have showed initiative and wanted to uh, make their own signs, stand and hold signs, walk and understand the issues and learn and research the issues. Um, every one of our youth has in one way or another been affected or known somebody that's been affected by the policy, so it reaches dear to their hearts some way or another. I love coming here because we get to change the world. How are we changing the world? By like, people stopping cops from catching people that didn't do anything or causing like problems to other people that they didn't even like try to do or think of to do. We are misrepresented in government, we're misrepresented in society and we're here with other groups to help with the stop and frisk because we're against it.